C.S. Lewis once said, you never know how bad you are until you try to be good. The moment you decided to regain balance in your life is the moment you realized how imbalanced your life really has been. One famous author wrote, that which at first is difficult when done repeatedly becomes easy. This is how we learn to walk. This is how we learn to ride a bike. This is how we learn to balance. It is a fight for our lives and the opposition can come from anywhere. The evening we decide to not stay late at the office is the very evening a critical deadline tempts us to retreat back to imbalance. The morning we decide to take that morning jog is the very morning that an ambitious opportunity tempts us to retreat to imbalance. The weekend we decide to take that family trip to the beach is the very weekend it seems no one else could help this family member, tempting us to retreat to imbalance. The Apostle Paul spoke to the struggle that success in the Christian life requires through the metaphor of the Olympic Games in ancient Greece. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 25, Paul wrote, and everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Epictetus described the required preparation to participate in the Greek Olympic Games. He said, do you wish to gain the prize at the Olympic Games? You must observe a strict regimen, must live on food which is unpleasant, must abstain from all delicacies, must exercise yourself at the prescribed times in heat and in cold, you must take no wine, etc., etc. Notice that it wasn't just temperate and harmful things, but all things. The prize is what determines the value and volume of everything in the Olympian's life. And right now, you're seeking to be an Olympian in the modern Olympic Games of balance. The prize is imperishable. The salvation of the children, your spiritual journey with Christ, the souls Jesus will use you to save, these are all worth the fight. They are worth the discipline. Make up your mind that you will not sacrifice what you want most for what you want now. Pack up the paperwork and head out of the office earlier tonight because you refuse to sacrifice what you want most for what you want now. Ignore that phone call and go out for that jog because you refuse to sacrifice what you want most for what you want now. Take that weekend with your family. Handle it next week because you refuse to sacrifice what you want most for what you want now. You're running this race to win and you'll win because you kept fighting, fighting for balance.